that it's a sharing platform today uh, we are going to meet our beautiful ladies those who are handling the sessions on the global level so much successfully confidently uh, we are so proud of uh, them so uh, for that today we have kept it that we must talk to them and it's our a uh, big step towards uh, hello gusminder sir welcome good evening good evening and happy good women's day to all the young ladies out there thank you sir thank you always so i young at heart maybe not otherwise <laughs> <laughs> so i'll continue with this uh, that uh, we thought that last uh, week in dil ki baat and now what is dil ki baat dil ki baat is a platform where we started gathering the uh, ladies Uh, especially lady uh, ladies founders on passive founders and uh, we thoughtfully designed it in such a way that we wanted them to uh, motivate and give them some sense of uh, belongingness that for this platform and our company on passive so that was the thing that we have started it long back uh, last year 2021 8th of march it was the first day and today we are going to celebrate this uh, first year for that and this uh, first anniversary and i'm very happy to share this screen and uh, this platform with all of you with all our honorable uh, leadership council members so i'm very thankful uh, to all of them those who have given uh, such a great platform slowly our all indian lady founders started gathering on this platform they started sharing their journey their life current uh, profile and the on passive vision and by the time we have we are just approaching to complete our one year we have seen a complete transformation in entire community that we uh, ne never had some communication but still uh, the lady founder coming with a very excellent uh, sharing a sense of belongingness was increased and the love passion towards the on passive it was a great platform for us also when we were growing with them uh, we uh, we had grown with them we have not grown they were there, they were there with us and that is the reason we are here after one year last week we had some session one one session with the foreign lady founders uh, bangladesh nepal and pakistan lady founders had come and they had a wonderful we had a wonderful session for that today we have uh, in increased our boundaries and crossed our boundaries and now we are here with honorable lc members on account of international women's day so it's a joy for me it's a lifetime experience for me and i cannot express my gratitude and love towards you as we i have seen you every day every week handling the uh, webinars and conducting it so successfully so confidently and such a knowledge you are distributing amongst us and giving us the strong platform for this revolutionary business and we are feeling really it that it's a done deal of course our ceo mr ash mufara has set up this business with such a humanity uh, bag with a humanity background but yes your presence means a lot for us so i'm thankful to all of you and we will uh, soon start with the session meanwhile we are definitely going to communicate with each other i would uh, be very thankful to all of you to give me this uh, opportunity to communicate to all of you uh, thank you all of you i welcome all of you from your countries and i'm very uh, happy to see you on this platform indian platform and uh, everyone is waiting for your sharing uh, over to yogini ji Uh, thank you so much uh, mamta uh, this is really a great pleasure uh, first of all i would re really like to welcome each and every uh, lady founder and our, all our lc members uh, from international and uh, from india also so gusminder uh, ji also welcome for today's event and we have all our supporting leaders those who are always with us and uh, without them Uh, celebrating this one year journey was really impossible so we have always received the support with us and uh, going ahead i would like to tell yes we know many more years are going to be ahead with us with this journey but it's uh, really a proud moment when we say we started uh, with a, a small session 
and uh, a small thing just uh, came in our mind that we need to give this platform to our lady founders those who can uh, speak out their heart what it is so they can just raise their voice what it is from this platform they should be recognized all over india from this platform and that was a small startup what we can say what we did and today when we see behind we have uh, uh, so many of them so many of them with us uh, uh, mamta i hope this is our 46th episode yes uh, yes together. this is the 46th and episode 46th episode and i we approx we have crossed 250 plus lady founders still date those who have shared with us on this platform and dil ki baat and uh, looking behind the love they have loved us like anything they have respected us the uh, there are blessings what we have received from them and this is going to be ongoing so going ahead uh, first of all i would like to uh, invite here uh, mrs vandana nanda from india lc member so we i would like to have like this is for everyone we over here want to share your journey with a basic information then your profession and how do you relate to on passive and the vision what you got from on passive uh, yes. this is these are the three four things that you can just share so that each and every one on this platform will be aware of what it is and uh, then we can go ahead step by step so i would like to invite uh, vandana ji on this platform vandana ji please welcome welcome on the stage of the international women's day excuse me excuse me hello julie welcome on the platform and happy international day thank you thank you uh, vandana ji you can continue thanks a lot thank you so much mamta and yogini uh, it's been such a pleasure to see you through the last one year uh yogini and mamta have uh, really worked very hard and brought all the uh, women who have been working at home out of their homes and onto the on passive platform so uh, i would like to all welcome everybody first all the women all the lc members all the founders and all the pending founders who may be watching this webinar so whether you are a man or a woman on passive has something for all of us we know that but to a women i think it gives something additional because it allows you to balance your life you know i mean while um, uh, i mean it's equally important for everybody to earn a living, earn a living. But, but i think women always are juggling lot of things together they have to balance kids family uh, even husband sometimes and you know generally everything uh, has to be balanced right So I I joined on passive in 2019 at that time I was working in a company which was into education they were offering courses to corporates uh, from uh, corporate clients from Harvard MIT uh, uh, Wharton uh, Cambridge Oxford etc so these were all online programs and I was working in this company but uh, what happened is that um, my office shifted very far away from home so while it used to take me around 2 hours to reach office it started taking me 2 to 3 hours more every day so then i started then i thought of starting something online and i quickly saw automated automated everything and i joined and jumped into on passive but through the years i didn't do anything for the first one year because i did not really fully understand even though i had joined it and then slowly slowly when i got to understand the great concept and i i didn't know much about online marketing or digital world um, though i have worked for 25 years in it and education companies i am not i was not really a digital marketer i didn't know anything about it so i went around set up my own website set up my youtube channel and i'm still learning actually so i think um, with on passive our learning is going to become faster and as we are seeing changes in the world all of us i mean not just us everybody our children grandchildren maybe we all need to keep learning all our lives we have to uh, sort of uh, all the technology is moving so fast and you know on passive is going to provide us the platform which will help us get skilled very fast in many other things and uh, as we have seen in the last 2 years 
more and more uh, uh, people are leaving their jobs to start something of their own. And uh, it's, it's, though it started, it's more visible in the US, I think it's more of a global phenomena. And uh, uh, jobs are no longer as secure as they used to be when I started working in my life. So for my kids also, I have taken positions in uh, on passive. And I think uh, it's necessary for all of us to have multiple sources of income. And on passive, I think is, uh, as I visualize it, it, it's going to provide us not one, but multiple sources of income, as Ash, Ash has mentioned, that we have our own digital real estate, we have our website from where we'll earn directly, but there could be additional revenues through advertising and through other things on our own website. And in addition to that, you know, many of us here are teachers. In fact, what I was reading uh, on LinkedIn is so many teachers are leaving their jobs because uh, uh, they are going in for higher uh, technical learning and other things. So with the platform, our um, uh, Oak Academy, I think it is going to be a really good uh, way for them to teach globally, teach around the world. And uh, it's not just, uh, uh, so you could teach English from uh, US to Chinese children to Indian children. And Indians can uh, teach um, Hindi to people living in other countries as well. I know my brother, he migrated to uh, USA in uh, very long back in 1995, I think. And he's living there right now. He's in Tampa and he's in Florida as, as a matter of fact. And uh, when his children were young, they wanted to teach them, uh, you know, basics, basic things like um, uh, Indian culture, Indian uh, Hindi. So if those classes are available online, it would be really great uh, for everybody to keep in touch uh, with the globe. And in addition to the uh, material benefits, uh, just seeing everybody around like this, I think we are getting so many additional benefits of being, becoming a global community and uh, you know uh, uh, being so uh, well cared for so uh, in my life uh, i think what has happened is that uh, uh, i think i have also balanced my job around my life when the kids are young you you choose a job where you can manage the job and the kids and uh, my husband used to have a, a traveling kind of a job where he was uh, he was a, a high official in a company and he used to need to travel so I had to balance the home, the kids, many things I had to take care of myself. So I think uh, at that time, unfortunately, we didn't have, uh, we did not have uh, all this available. So one had to start right from scratch and, uh, you know, um, uh, so one had to balance the job and the thing. But now whoever uh, joins this, I think their life will be very, very much balanced. So, uh, so I think, um, it's all a great blessing for us. And uh, if we help ourselves and we, we will be able to help so many other people also. So I think on passive is coming into all our lives at a really good time. And it's going to be a blessing for all of us. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Vandanaji. Thank you very much. Indeed, we are going to jump into an another world of on passive uh, where we are going to revolute our lifestyle and uh, way of thought and everything. And that is why we are calling this as a paradigm shift. So thank you very much. Over to you, Kiniji. Thank you so much, Mamta. And thank you, Vandanaji, for uh, your words because each and every person on this platform, it's much more valuable for us every time we have here. So thank you so much. Uh, now I would like to call upon uh, Corinne uh, from Switzerland. So Corinne, namaste and please welcome. Namaste to everybody and thank you for the invite. I'm so happy to be here today on this special 8th of March with all of you here, <laughs> that's so special to me. And, you know, congratulations for your episodes, for your one year um, now running this. And the last Women's Day last year was your first one, right? The first yes. episode, well, so you've done very well. And thank you, it's important to um, remain um getting the signature into the field, you know, this information. To me, I, I started, well, I, I felt the resonance with just one sentence uh, in June of 2020. And uh, this was just one sentence which 
a friend of mine sent me saying, are you interested to be part of a futuristic company or business? I didn't look any webinar. I didn't watch anything. I just listened to my heart. It was really like that. It was a hard resonance. I am very empathic and I can feel the intentions. <laughs> You know, so later on, I really felt, wow, this is the right way. That's the right place where we can change something for good for the whole humanity. And the intention is love. That's why I felt this resonance. This is my highest reality is love. I've been through many, many different jobs in corporates from banking from investments, from, um, how you say, sell, selling or um, the immobilian. Um, I don't know. <laughs> well, different things in, in sales, uh, you know, and uh, working and operating as a flight attendant in different airlines. I've been traveling all over, also in India. I've been many times in India, which is a beautiful place. And... Um, <clears throat> to me, namaste is I honor and recognize the divine core in you as my divine core. And I salute you from my divine core to you. And that is so much this respect and honoring in the united field and on passive, what I encounter every day again. So we are so a united field, respecting each other with our diversity and experience that the only, that's my interpretation, the only way to come forward is the unity, to unite potential, to unite all what we are and to realize that we are together in this. And it's not only about on passive, it's much, much more. It's the whole humanity. So the intention, of uplifting humanity goes so well with me. I've been in the last, since 12, 12, 12, I'm entrepreneur, entrepreneur just um, officially, but I've been always operating as a holistic coach in my family everywhere. And what is my goal or my desire or my reminding for everybody, individuals, groups, enterprises to be self-empowered? to really stand tall, put their crown on, know who they are and stand for themselves in their own quality. And what a better place to be to experience this in on passive. I feel that on passive field, it's a transformation field for good for all of us. Whoever allows it, as you said before, this paradigm shift starts within us. You know, and as soon as we recognize that there is no lack, only we create it, I mean, you know, then we realize we can operate out of the fullness, out of the abundance. So it starts with us opening up for the abundance, which is there, which is in us too, and is reflected in this generous field through our genius and CEO, Aj Mufara, with his generosity, with his geniality, with his compassion in action, with his love and his heart for humanity. So um, I believe every, every single one of us, we are a fractal part, you know, a, a puzzle, and all together we are the whole picture. So again, yes, all together we are the whole picture. And women and men equally, equally. Of course, this time now, this era, we are entering and living the divine feminine energy is utmost welcome to live in men and in women. Yes, um, without dividing but including always including everything you know so uh, yes again getting together and realizing that this is the way
the passive lifestyle, the passive consciousness. It's all about the consciousness. So we open up and um, I'm here today and to remind a few things, if you allow me later or in exchange with all of us. And I'm greeting my sister from another mana, Mother Hawa from Senegal, I just saw. She joined now and all together with their potential. Thank you. Thank you, Corinne. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Uh, really, every one of us uh, experienced it and you have uh, hopped into different uh, platforms and finally we have got uh, on passive. But I'm very, very uh, happy to listen to your uh, holistic and divine approach towards the life and humanity. Thanks a lot. Thank you for such a valuable sharing. Thank you very much. And uh, Hava Madam, you are welcome. Uh, very much on this platform and I'm very happy to see you on this platform okay uh, thank you very much Corinne and back to uh, Yogini madam uh, thank you so much Mamta and thank you Corinne for whatever you always share on the platforms different platforms and whenever we hear you we really feel blessed that uh, we are in such a big passive family so thank you so much uh, going ahead, we would be uh, calling here upon Angie from, from Germany. Angie, you are welcome on this platform on Wilki Bath. Please welcome. Namaste. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Good to be Hello. here. Thank you for the invite. Hi, Makun. <laughs> um, hi. Uh, hi. <laughs> uh, happy uh, International Women's Day. Um, yeah, I prepared myself a little bit. Um, most of you know I'm not good in talking, uh, and not, especially not that much. So I prepared myself a little bit um, for the points. Um, yeah, my name is Angie Han, and I live in Germany. Um, for meanwhile, six years, I uh, work for the government of my hometown in the social welfare department with uh, elderly people, mentally ill people and uh, disabled people. Uh, a tough job, but uh, um, yeah, it's, it's with the heart. You help people and that's always good. Before that, I worked uh, 15 years for the Deutsche Bank in a lot of different departments, especially accounting and HR and payroll, what Susie did. So <laughs> I'm not a marketer. I have really no idea of that, but uh, I'm learning. Um, I try to learn. Yeah, uh, that's about me. Uh, I have joined on Passive two years ago now. Um, my mom told me about it. In the beginning, I was very uh, skeptical. Uh, but at the same time, I was so much curious about um, a company with a heart and um, a, our special CEO. So I was so much curious and I listened to so many webinars. And um, yeah, to be honest, first I joined because of the financial freedom. It's, it's a big thing, of course. Um, but then um, with the time I felt uh, in love with our own passive and with Ash, um, he's a big hearted man. So um, this journey is, um, how can I say that? It's overwhelming. Uh, we found friendship and fr uh, family, not only friendship, family. Um, and and love all over the planet. So that is much more valuable than any money in the end. Yeah. Um, since the day I I got the vision of on passive, I started to to listen to every single word of Ash, and I just wished uh, the German community um, will be able to see him through my eyes. I just wanted to transport his his words. That was. For me, that was very important. So I started to translate everything and yeah, um, to soak in the energy of every single webinar, no matter which language, um, because even if you don't understand one word, you can, you can feel what the people say or yeah, you can just feel it. So uh, I was really addicted for a long time. I, I needed to go to at least three webinars a day. That was so much important to, to feel everything. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I'm just in love with on passive. Um, through the global connection we have already built up, 
um, and the free financial life we will have, we will be able to move mountains. Um, I guess even if I know it, I'm, I'm, it's, it's, um, it's tough to, no, not tough. It's, um, you can imagine it, but I don't, I don't think we really um, know what it will mean and which power we will have as a crowd. And that is so much impressing. Um, in addition, waking up in the morning and having no issues concerning money is, um, yeah, I guess um, something that we all uh, dream of, of course. Um, I love nice cars and um, I want to discover our wonderful planet. That's um, my private uh, dreams. But in the end, I want to leave some footprints on our planet. That is um, my goal. Um, I want to make this world a better place. Um, I don't want to see homeless people or starving people. I want education for everyone. Um, I have a lot of friends in, in India, in Africa, and um, I know about the bad stuff. Uh, and I don't want to see that. I mean, women are should have the same value like a man in every country. Of course, we are all human beings. It doesn't depend on any gender. So I hope we can we can change something together as a crowd. And yeah, thank you for inviting me. And I hope that was not too long. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Of course not. It was wonderful sharing. Thanks, Anjay. Uh, thanks a lot for your vision and the way you were talking about uh, Ash's vision. And everyone, we, we, everyone, we, whenever we listen to his webinar, uh, at least uh, I would talk about myself that a complete transformation I have seen in my, uh, myself. Earlier I was not like this, uh, but complete transformation. I could see it and I strongly believe that each and every word is a big thesis. If, For example, if we talk about exclusive, one word exclusive, it has a long, huge meaning behind it and he has a thoughtful presentation for that one word. So we had to, we need to understand that basically. And that is the reason I myself uh, go through the videos, recorded videos, recorded webinars n number of times. And then I am trying to uh, get the things which are in, uh, properly placed over there. Thanks a lot, Anjay, and your vision, wonderful vision. Really, uh, we all will come together and make this planet livable. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much. Uh, over to you, Gini ji. Uh, thank you so much, Mamta. Thank you, NG, for being with us and for your wonderful vision with On Passive. Uh, uh, going ahead, uh, yeah, I would like to call upon, I know each and every one uh, knows her really very well, and uh, we love the videos the way she does. And I would like to call upon Julie Nguyen from USA. Julie, please welcome and namaste. Namaste. Thank you so much for having me um, for the opportunity to speak today. My name is Julie Nguyen. I'm coming to you from um, Orange County, California, and I have been in on passive um, short 10 days. It'll be three years since I've been in on passive. And uh, um, as a mom, a daughter, I have been doing a lot of things on my own. I do have two children. And in the last 20 years, I have done from being the restaurant owner to the nail salons owner, um, being a real estate person, I invest in real estate. I've done so many things, everything that you could think of. Uh, I have done it, but I have not done things that, you know, except real estate, but everything else that I've done uh, I've only done it for about two years and then I move on to something else. Real estate is something that I've done, I've gone through uh, over 12 years. Um, but during all those time, I have never found a place where I am passionate about doing it. Um, you know, passionate in a way where you do it for other reason instead of money or instead of survival. So when Milo shared on passive to me back in March, 2019, 
I didn't see it. I didn't understand it, but I never left. I came and I learned and, uh, and I failed. Obviously, I didn't understand it. Um, I showed up on the webinars, I participate, but truly it was still a block in my mind uh, at, a, at a time. Um, but I stay and I pray for the wisdom to understand what on passive is all about until December 2020, around that time, um, for some reason, I, I received a wisdom from God or, you know, from all the friends uh, of, on, of Julie and Milo's show, interview them, you know, so learn, I learned through those interview. And I know, Mamata, you started on right on Women Day last year, and you said you it, it's transformed you. It did to me as well. And so ever since then, I recognize the fact that on passive to me is a blessing, is a gift. And what it is, is it takes every single one of us to share that gift to the world. However, whatever that gift or that blessing is, it's really truly is depend on how you share that to the world. If you came in on passive and you recognize the fact that on passive is a play for you to, lot, to make a lot of money, for example, then you go on and you share that. But when you share about on passive to other people and focusing just on the money part, it's very boring because I believe that if you have the courage if you have if you work hard you still be able to make money but it doesn't last long and i did i am one of the example for it i worked for so hard so long in the last 20 years on my own or with my husband at a time uh, i'm still not where i want it to be even though real estate was my best thing real estate was something that i made me the success that i needed but it doesn't give me the time and the freedom, you know, like the how I imagine in unpassive, right? And I believe that unpassive will give us, all of us, the opportunity to do what we want. And I think the freedom and the ability to do what you want is much greater than the money that we are going to make because obviously we know there are so many opportunities in the world and we can make money, but the time and the freedom, are we going to do that of the rest of our life? Or are we just going to work hard, set up something where even if we don't work, it's still coming for us to give us that, that life and that ability. So when I understood you know, part of what I can in on passive. And the more I involved in with webinars, with the company, with helping everybody, the more I learned through it. Not only learn the knowledge, but I learn about myself as well. And I grow so much since the last year, a little bit over a year that I've joined on passive. I see myself grow um, and I see myself explore and not only personal life, I see that I grow in terms of love, in terms of friendship, keep me more humble, um, you know, and, and make me more friendly, you know, like I used to do everything on my own. Now I can do something with other people. And so Unpassive has given me so much more than the amount of money that I spent. And I have feeling that in the past year that I learned and understood about on passive, if I was to take all of what I learned and, you know, compare that with the money in life that we are going to spend, I believe I have spent over $97,000, right? So if you, if you were to compare that knowledge, that friendship, that communities that you you belong to, I would say, you know, around a hundred thousand dollars. And I did spend money in learning the skills, learning all that before. And it's nothing compared to on passive. And so it is truly a blessing. 
unfortunately today I can only stay for another minute because uh, it is morning time for me. I do have my children, uh, my child here that I need to prepare and take her to school. Um, I will keep my, you know, the webinar on, but I'm going to run. And if you're still here, I will come back to share the rest of it. But I do appreciate that you give me a chance to come here and share a little bit about my story. And congratulations. And if you are a woman, you are, you know that today is your special day. And just so you know, I don't know if you have paid attention to the word woman, there are also men in women, right? Yes. So we are dynamic. And we're not only the woman as a physical woman, but we are also have the characters, the uh, ability and the endurance as men because there, are, there is a woman, there's men in women. So just keep that in mind. Thank you so much for having me. Thanks a lot, Julie. Uh, initially, I would like to congratulate on the behalf of each one of over here to complete your uh, three years 10 days advance so we are very happy to see uh, such a strong pillar of on passive world of webinars and we can't imagine that platform without you and Susie uh, really it's a uh, direct from my heart uh, you also have tried many uh, platforms uh, you were talking about real estate uh, but I would add in that really now on passive is the real estate for us in every sense not only i'm not talking about monetary benefits but our entire upliftment of the total personality i'm talking about it and uh, money which doesn't last ever but on passive whatever it is giving we cannot count it in money it's really a priceless thing i strongly believe in that and you have learned you told the just now that you have explored yourself uh, through this entire journey in the on passive yes and that is we have witnessed you uh, such a strong woman and yes we definitely respect each and every one irrespective of uh, gender uh, we believe that women is a name of the heart with a lots of love that's it it's no more related to the gender thanks a lot thank you for being on this platform i we know that you are very busy uh, thank you very much again over again on this platform we uh, are witnessing this platform with you and it's an honor for all of us thank you very much and over to you uh, thank you so much mamta and thank you julie because uh, we know when I had a word with you, it was like uh, it is a really busy morning time. Even we know because in morning if we have kids and we they have to go to school. Even in India, it's the same process because the women have to go to the process in the morning time. So thank you so much for being with us. Definitely be on the call because you will be able to hear many of them uh, more. So thank you for uh, thank you for that. Uh, next going ahead, um, Mamta, you have to. Uh, inform me when we are going to do the celebration also yes if neeraj, no there, uh, if neeraj is there neeraj if wants to play a video because we had discussed about the video so it will be good if you can just arrange it and then we can go ahead with the process are you ready neeraj uh, no, uh, uh, you can continue okay thank you thank you so much uh, so next, uh, we would be, uh, we always, whenever we have an international call, definitely uh, we, so the first face what we see on the screen is Susie Macri on, and we love to see her and we love her voice also. So next, I would like to call upon over here, uh, Miss Susie from USA. Susie, please welcome and namaste. Wow. Thank you so much. I'm very honored to be here today among such wonderful people. So thanks for the invitation and everyone speaking um, about their lives and whatnot. I have I have a little. Um, of course, I'm going to tell a story, you know, and and tell you about my upbringing and what puts me here. I first want to say I'm from Amherst, Massachusetts in the United States. This is where the area I've grown up my whole life. I'm 60 years old. And when I was growing up, 
Uh, it was during a time in the late 60s and early 70s where there was a huge women's movement in the United States. So do people remember that where everyone was burning their bras? That was like a big deal. And so I grew up in an environment where women were going back into the workforce. Uh, there were more opportunities for women. I have excellent role models with my parents, um, my mom and my dad. Uh, five, there's five girls in the family and two boys. And when Angie spoke about gender, um, I really grew up where gender was not in my um, purview. I just thought of people as people. But I, when I was like 10 years old, I was watching this revolution of women, like um, standing up for women's rights. And I guess I was a little naive in understanding what did that all mean? Because I was truly blessed to be in an environment where it didn't really affect me. So as I went through life, I saw my mom become a little bit of an entrepreneur. She opened a little shop inside the house to sell wigs for women going back to work. A lot of, back then, uh, wigs were popular because women didn't want to have to be doing their hair all the time. So she opened up a little store called the Wig Boutique in our house. And my mom would help these women um, pick out the right wig, she'd order them for them because women were more and more going into the workforce. And so I saw my mom doing that little entre entrepreneurial thing. In the meantime, she was going back to college and then got her master's degree. So like I said, I was truly blessed to come with such wonderful role models in, in, in a family uh, where everyone was respectful of everybody regardless of their gender. And I think what On Passive has done for me, um, you know, and part of me is embarrassed to even admit this, but I will, we're, we're open here. Um, I guess it didn't always, I didn't always understand some of the struggles in other uh, countries, continents, areas across the world that um, a lot of women may have had. Uh, I, I just, it wasn't like I said in my purview. I think my eyes have been opened a lot and on passive. It has made me grow, grow as a person. Uh, you know, you don't know what you don't know. And I have learned so much about different cultures, about um, different people, how people just uh, uh, come together differently in different communities. And I tell you, that has been well worth the $97 that I spent to become a founder. And I think that when you have role models, like I said, I had role models with my parents. And then when I went into the workforce, it was still like a man's world per se. But that never affected me because I always sought out role models. I sought out people that I wanted to surround myself with. And that's what we're doing here today. And we do all the time in On Passive. We surround ourselves with positive, like-minded people who inspire us. And who is one of our biggest inspirations? Ash Mufara. So in my journey with On Passive and throughout my corporate career, I made an effort to align myself with the right people, whether they were male or female didn't matter. If I knew they had integrity, they respected people, they had a good heart, they were funny, they were optimistic, a lot of them would take me under their wing. Um, I love doing that. So that's the opportunity we have in On Passive. Look at the men on the screen here today. 
all of the men, yes, this is International Women's Day, but look at the, the men here who I am so proud to be associated with. We are the, we are the human race. And like Angie, you said so well, it's not about gender. So we have an opportunity to surround ourselves with, I believe, the best people on the planet. And look at our CEO. Okay, as you know, I had the pleasure to be around him for a few days and I watched him in action. There is no one else I would rather spend time with or be around. He is the ultimate role model in respect, in engagement, in inspiration, in integrity, and he is leading us. And um, I felt that right away when I heard his voice over two years ago when I became a founder, I said, I want to be aligned with this person because he understands people. And boy, have I grown in my expansion of um, understanding people from different cultures. So that has been such a pleasure for me. I love learning. I'm a curious person and on passive has allowed me to learn something every day. I learn technical things. I learn about, you know, IT, artificial intelligence. I learn about different products, but I also learn about people, communication. Um, and I'm just going to leave, leave with one of my favorite quotes um, about women. I think I've posted it before, but Eleanor Roosevelt, who was one of the first ladies in the United States, she, um, she you know, was the president's uh, wife way, way back. I don't even know what years. I think it was the 40s or 50s. <laughs> My history isn't that great. But she said, no one can make you feel inferior without your consent. No one can make you feel inferior without your consent. So throughout life, if you feel that you're feeling that way, that's when it's a trigger to you. If you're feeling inferior about a situation or the people you are around to surround yourself, the people like we have here in On Passive, because that will help get you beyond feeling that way. So thank you so much for having me and I'm really enjoying this. So thank you so much, ladies. Thanks a lot, uh, Susie, ma'am. I can't express my gratitude uh, towards this sharing. Uh, my son uh, recognizes your voice whenever we start our <laughs> webinar. And he tells me that Danma has come. Now you have to attend it properly. <laughs> so uh, thank you. Uh, thanks a lot for giving such a memorable uh, moments in my life. And uh, you have seen uh, the actually phases of social uh, transformation uh, you have started with that sharing and I would sum up uh, with one st statement that you have experienced your mother as an entrepreneur and you are now landing to the business which is the mother of all businesses so it's a complete cycle for you so it was wonderful uh, sharing and um, basically you were talking about the different cultures uh, Thank you very much. That reflects actually when you conduct the webinar. Uh, it reflects uh, by the way of your working, the way you communicate that you have already handled to the uh, different uh, cultures. And it's really uh, awesome to observe it. We, are, we learn every time we learn it from you. Really thankful to you. Uh, over to Yogini Ji. Thank you, uh, Suzy. Thanks a lot. And I would... Uh, just one statement that I love you uh, when you eat the popcorns really uh, I will share my one thought that one day you were eating uh, popcorn and then I uh, thought that I also must have that and it was a 2 30 a.m. in India and I actually prepared it and I ate it I am sharing the secret with you uh, <laughs> Yesterday I was thinking whether I should share it to you or not but even my uh, son he teases me with that that because of grandmother you have eaten popcorns at 2.30 am and he keeps on telling me the same thing many a times. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. <laughs> not just 
not just popcorn. Sometimes I eat pistachio nuts too. Yeah, <laughs> but it's very difficult. That's to be fair. <laughs> you know, it, 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 we're on the screen a lot, and I get hungry sometimes. So I figure, what yeah. the hell? I'll, I'll no, eat. no, but you please keep on doing it. We love it uh, to see you like this, and uh, we really feel that it's a family. It's a family, and you are giving that touch to this platform. So keep on doing it. Really keep on doing it. We love it. Though we are not able to eat that things, sometimes we have even I have done it, but uh, still we love to see that platform and uh, conducting the webinar, setting something, and having the coffee, everything else. Thank you very much, uh, Yogini. Over to you. Thank you so much, Mamta, and thank you so much, Sujri, for being with us. Uh, please be connected and uh, it was really uh, great uh, to have you and uh, when you were saying when you were in 60s and 70s I was just thinking of my mom because uh, she is also from uh, like 50s and 60s so even she has done a lot of things in the, this way so we just went in the into that era when you were saying all these things so thank you so much uh, for being with us and sharing all the uh, reality is what you were facing at that moment so next we would uh, go ahead and call upon uh, renata gargit from uh, korotia I, I hope it's right mamta renata gargit yeah croatia yeah. Yeah. hello welcome, everyone welcome and namaste <laughs> and namaste uh, namaste Thank you so much for invite and uh, uh, Mamata, I want to thank you for a beautiful intro. Uh, what you said, it was great and every comment and also uh, all ladies till now. I, I've learned a lot today in this uh, maybe one hour also. So my name is Renata Grgic and I'm from Croatia. It is a small country in Europe, but it's very beautiful. And I invite you all someday to visit me here. So uh, I'm a, a music teacher. I'm working in two primary schools. And uh, when I think Vandana spoke about teachers uh, today, it is not... Uh, uh, easy to be teacher because we have uh, a problem with uh, uh, children. Uh, children, uh, it is uh, uh, you know uh, the number of children in school is very low, so we have to go to work uh, in two or three or even four schools, and it took us uh, a lot of time to travel and also. So, uh, but anyway, I, I like my uh, music uh, teacher profession. I like uh, music, I like kids, and somehow I, I found a way to uh, not to be too hard to me to travel. And also, uh, besides of working in school, I also have a, a one uh, choir, uh, adult and children choir. I used to play in church for 20 years. Uh, I, I also uh, like uh, many other things besides of music, like creativity, handmade uh, works and all of that. I think uh, my parents are, uh, I, I should thank them for that. They are also teachers, but they are always working uh, so hard and uh, other things to uh, for me and my sister to have a better life. So uh, I was uh, searching for a long time uh, for, you know, like uh, another stream of income when because I have four kids and they are not a little anymore. I have two uh, students. My daughters are in college and next year one of my sons also will be. So I was, uh, I started to 
search uh, online opportunities because during the day I was not at home mostly. And I think I thought maybe I can do something, you know, when they go to sleep for two or three hours. Uh, and I was in many, many uh, programs. I, I really tried everything. And uh, before I'm passive, I was in one uh, program for maybe four or five years. And I really uh, struggled so much with marketing, bringing people in uh, because of lack of time. And then I want, uh, I must pay if I, I must pay if I want to bring some people. And it was very, uh, very hard, but I never gave up because I knew that uh, all of that in my life uh, will lead me to something better. And it happened two years ago when I became a founder of OnPassive. At the first time, uh, uh, what attracted me, uh, it was the sentence, all done for you, you know? And I said, okay, this, is, this will be the last one I will try. And if, uh, if not uh, successful, I will never go online any, uh, no more. And uh, I really didn't know, like most of us uh, here, especially women uh, about technology or uh, marketing and everything else. Uh, but uh, my first webinar, when I heard Mr. Ash, was, uh, I would say, a trigger. And I, I decided that this is the place I want to be for the rest of my life. Because like Corinne also said, uh, I, I felt that I'm uh, connected with him and with all people who was on that webinar, my first webinar. Uh, I think the first lady's voice was uh, Cindy Hopkins, and I I decided this is this is my new home where I will spend my time, and I will try to uh, do to help or to do as much as I can. Uh, so I started to learn. I started to watch uh, all webinars and like Angie, I started to translate it for my uh, creation people. Uh, and uh, because uh, I'm also not, uh, not so good uh, in speaking English, you know, like to say something with big sense, I decided that uh, I will uh, write some songs because music is uh, my passion and this is the way I can express myself. So uh, regarding uh, my vision, I remember when I was a guest uh, in Julian Myla show and Myla asked me, uh, what will I do for myself when we start to collect apples from Unpassive and I started to to speak uh, about uh, how I will help others and what will I do for others. And he said, no, 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 uh, what will you do for yourself? And I didn't know what to say, but uh, I started to think about it. And the first thing uh, I want to be able not, not to worry uh, about uh, finances, not in a way that I have to collect, you know, so many uh, apples or money, but I don't want to worry if I will have uh, enough, you know, till the next salary, or should I spend it on this one or that? That is my first goal. And the second, uh, I want to travel and visit all of you beautiful people I met in this journey, 
I'm so happy that I met so so uh, so many beautiful souls, uh, different cultures. I learned a lot uh, too about uh, cultures, and I I want to learn uh, many languages. So I I think I will first thing I will do uh, travel traveling, and maybe maybe I will leave my. Uh, teacher's job, I don't know till now, but it's my plan to not to uh, stop uh, uh, work with children and music, but at least a few months I want to just to travel with my family. And I'm so uh, really so grateful that you invited me here and I want to congratulate you for your first anniversary with your group and uh, uh, for the end uh, I I would like to say we are not celebrating today Women's Day but I think we should celebrate it every day because we deserve it you know and I I don't know who, who even uh, who even came up with the idea of a difference between women and men, you know, I think we are same. We are we are people. We are human beings. No matter if we are women or men. And thank you, thank you so much for this opportunity. Love you all. Thanks a lot, Renita, ma'am. Thank you very much. I am astonished uh, to see this that uh, how much resemblance between you and me. Uh, I am also a music teacher working uh, near about 25 years. I am an Indian classical vocalist and working in the school. And I have myself many a uh, times, not many a times, but each and every year, uh, I have uh, set so many uh, things for the school and outside also. Uh, that is what you call it as a choir. Here we um, have the different type of presentations. Uh, apart from that, uh, we, myself and uh, Yogini Madam, we have decided to uh, roam around the world uh, with a huge uh, number of uh, lady founders and we are going to roam the uh, entire world. We will definitely take you along with us and thank you to invite us over there and you are also welcome over here especially at my place i uh, would be uh, learning from you and we will decide something thank you uh, thank you Mota and uh, thank you renita uh, for being with us uh, definitely uh, we would uh, go ahead and uh, definitely if you if you are going to be with Mamta, you are going to be both from with both of us and you're most welcome to india whenever you are in india we will be with you also so thank you so much and going ahead thank next you. we would like to invite uh, uh, Ms. Hava, Mrs. Hava Bokum from Senegal, please welcome. Namaste. Namaste, Mere Behen, <laughs> Behen Ji. <laughs> Namaste, Namaste, India. Aap kaise hai? Uh, I'm so happy to be here today, and uh, I, I am. I'm yeah, happy before, because before you start, before you yes. start, Hava, I really, I'm really very thank you because it was at the last moment what I uh, invited you on the email. I received it from Corinne, and I'm really thankful to Corinne also for giving us this opportunity to call you upon this platform. So all yours, please go ahead. Thank you, thank you, Yoginiji. That's normal, you know. We are women, and whenever. A woman from unpassive uh, stands up. We have to be by their side. So even if it was a minute before the, uh, the webinar, I would have attended. That's normal. Thank you so much for having me. And uh, again, I thank my sister. Al Aloha, madam, as people used to say in India, because whatever you say, you ask, you do, madam, after. So aloha, madam. 
in the Indian way. I thank you, my sister, from the other side of Europe. I am Hawa, Hawa Bukum, and I am from Senegal. Senegal is a very small country in the West African continent, and it's only 15 million people. But I think because of the soccer, and we won the African Cup of Nations, I think that people know us very well. And we have a lot of also players in Germany, Angie, in your country. <laughs> so I would like to say hello to each and everyone. Uh, I, would, uh, I will not forget uh, our brother, Hamare uh, Pai Guzmander Ji, and Mamata uh, Ji, and uh, everybody here, Suzy, uh, uh, and uh, Julie and uh, Renata, who just spoke now, and uh, Vandana and everybody. Let me tell you something what we say in my country. If you don't want us to forget someone, you say whoever thinks about being called, I start with your name. So I call everybody here, even those that are not here on the panel, I am greeting everybody as it is a very big moment. And uh, I am really, really, really delighted to be part of this panel. And uh, what to say after listening to such uh, knowledgeable people and uh, hearing such uh, diverse, uh, you know, uh, um, ground, uh, backgrounds, but uh, that is uh, the beauty of Unpassive. Each of us has something special and our speciality makes uh, our dynamism and our richness. Me, I grew up in a very big family because uh, I am a Muslim and my mother was the second wife of my father who had three wives. And the elder brother of my father had two wives and the younger brother of my father had also two wives and all of us, we were living in the same house. Okay, R plus three, but still, the same house and I never had the opportunity to have my own room. Can you imagine I had my own room when I got married and I was scared to sleep in the room when my husband travels <laughs> because I used to share whatever I had. To give you an idea, each, uh, uh, at lunchtime we used to cook seven kgs of rice. Mm -hmm. Shawal seven kgs of rice. And uh, because it's not only my father and his wives and my uncles and their wives, but we had also uh, the, uh, the, the village people who used to come and live in our house. And even if they don't live there at lunchtime, they come to have lunch at our place because we were in the city. My father was a civil servant working uh, at the uh, uh, National Assembly, you can say Parliament. So we were uh, 90s, okay? Still, we had a lot of to do, a lot of to share. So I grew up in that uh, environment and uh, I have shared whatever I had in my life, even my bed, even my room, even when we have guests sometimes who come, despite our three floor the house, I, if my father is not sleeping in my mother's room, I would have, I would go in sleep with my mother. And when he is in my mother's room, I will go to the second wife's room and sleep there. You see, you have just your pillow and your, <laughs> your bed sheets going back and forth. But this is very something that makes you very open heart. Okay, very open heart. And you know that life uh, is not easy for everybody and you learn how to share. So, Wherever I've been, I've shared what I had as a student in Paris. I've lived in Paris for 10 years and I was at Sorbonne where I did philosophy and that I had a master degree in marketing. And later on, I became a conference interpreter because I saw wherever I go, people needed interpretation. And my husband was a diplomat posted in New Delhi. That's where I learned Hindi. And then I realized that whenever there is a meeting, those Francophone women were asking me, what did she say, what did she say? So 
when I came back to Senegal, I wanted to study and to become a conference interpreter. And uh, then I did also multi-level marketing, but uh, being a, a conference interpreter was very uh, interesting job and very well paid. So I dropped uh, uh, multi-level marketing that was not uh, giving me a lot of money and a lot of headache. And then later on, I discovered it on Passive. Can you imagine I didn't make one year in on Passive? I just joined on the 14th of May, 2021. I joined and at that time I lost my first cousin. I was really overwhelmed. I was really crying and uh, it, she got uh, heart surgery and she didn't survive. So I came to attend the first uh, on Passive uh, presentation and it was a mind blowing. I say, oh my God, how are what you were waiting for is here now. You have that helping hand that will help you to help more people, if you allow me this repetition. I was planning to open a center to help women because in our countries, you know, in developing countries and then it's Muslim country, you have also men that are the, the, the chiefs. <laughs> Uh, so it's a, a uh, it is a society that is uh, just uh, you know driven by men. Women are here. Women are very important. Women are powerful. You know, men they think that they are driving society, but behind in the back office, women are driving. But still, women have to be uh, more fulfilled in what they are doing. They need more consideration. But when a woman, because when a woman doesn't have a husband anymore and she has some time to take care of the children, the men, they don't want to help those women because they're doing retaliation. And I think between, uh, in a couple, we shouldn't have retaliation. We are complementary. So if you divorce a woman, you should help her, but not trying to do retaliation. Unfortunately, sometimes we have this retaliation. And me, what I wanted to do is use one of my houses and have a, call, a kind of call center when women are in trouble to help them. But what can I do if I am alone to do such a, a job? It's not easy. I try to help her in, with the means that I have. And when I saw what on passive is, okay, of course, each and every one of us here, we are expecting to have money. But what is uniting us is not the money. It's our heart, it is our love. And me, excuse me, when I talk about it, I feel so, you know, I know I have more than a million of brothers and sisters all around the world. And I know that I can help the woman in Senegal and all over the world that didn't have the chance that I had because we are just the lucky ones. When I hear Susie McRae saying that she didn't uh, witness this uh, disparity, this uh, uh, issues between women and men, this gender, this gender barrier, believe me, my dear Susie, I experienced it. And uh, I am, believe me, I'm among the lucky ones, but I experienced it. I experienced it as a woman. I experienced it as a black woman. And as I experienced it also as a Muslim, I am not an extremist Muslim. I am a regular Muslim because the religion is not something that you show outside. The religion is in the heart. The religion is in the heart. It's what makes us this vertical relation between God and us. You don't have to show it. If you show it too much, that means there is something that is wrong. But believe me, my dear Susie, there are people that are suffering because of the skin of the, uh, the color of their skin, because of their religion, because of their gender, because of their origins. And on Pacific is here to remove all, all this, to harmonize all this, to put us all at the level that you pay your $97. Isn't it wonderful? This is amazing. This is that what made me come to on Pacific because my dream is going to come true. And uh, 
I heard Julie saying that we women, we are men and women at the same time. That's true because the right side of our brain is woman and the left side of our brain is a man. And we combine both of those uh, dualities in our personality. That's why we women, we are holding the world because if the woman is bad, the society will not be good. We need strong women. We need committed women. We need humble women, humble but knowledgeable women that are aware of what's happening in this society and help us in fulfilling, fulfilling his vision. He gave us the opportunity to be part of this big community. We shouldn't betray him. That's why me, since I came and I attended the leadership council, despite the fact that I do the translation of all ASH webinars, we have a platform at the Francophone, uh, Francophone level, but I invite all of you because I will do the translation uh, interpretation if you speak English. We do self-development because we are uh, I feel our organizing among our funders is paramount a founder that didn't know how to handle even one hundred dollar or two hundred dollars per month who ends up having thousands perhaps even millions of dollars should be helped earlier ahead before having the money because once the money comes what can you do what can you tell to people but now that we have a goal we are all together united before the money, we can together change mentalities. And this platform is uh, last time, for example, the last uh, uh, self-development uh, uh, panel that we organized was with uh, Fernand Cuete. I think some of you know him. He's uh, very, very committed in on passive. And I invited him to talk about all mindset. I call it all mindset because all our products are all connect, all uh, <laughs> academy, etc. All mindset. What is the behavior? What is the behavior? What is expected from uh, an on 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 passive? Uh, <laughs> excuse me. I was about to speak French. It is a. We have a, a CEO that is very humble, that want to lift the humanity. What is his expectation? from each and every one of us. And our next guest next week will be Aloha, Madam. And I am sure she will do a very good job as usual. So I don't want to be very, very long, but let me just finish with a, a quote because I heard uh, Susie McRae talking about whatever happens to us depends on us. I would like to talk about a quote saying that the only limit to our fulfillment is our doubt. When you doubt, you can't move forward. So we have to believe in ourselves. And with on passive, we are going to lift the humanity. And women are playing a major role in this job. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ohoa. Thanks a lot. Your sharing was wonderful, of course. Uh, indeed, it uh, whatever we have heard it right now, it was a struggle and a stress, and it, struggle and stress uh, stress gives us the uh, little bit higher emotional level. So, what is stress and struggle? It is of course the gap between the expectation and reality. And if there is a gap between these two, then uh, there is no chance of. Uh, living the life happier it always gives the stress and the struggle and we have to suffer from that so we all have suffered in on another way uh, but your emotional sharing uh, has really touched our heart and international women's day especially women's day whatever we were talking about it it is for whom those who believe in male driven society or main dominance uh, we are talking about uh, gender equality so for them there is no a special day when they are trust when they trust on the gender equality then uh, we uh, need not talk on the special day for that so uh, appearance of this day itself suggests something that 
at some corner of the um, globe uh, we are facing this problem so let us accept it and uh, hats off to our ceo mr ash mufara who has given us this platform that which is going to work for all for everyone who is present on this earth he is there to change the face of the earth to change the system to entire system he is working for that people are thinking for just few dollars or uh, to float the money in their accounts but i personally observe this platform as the change in the system revolution change in the thought process equality for everyone and a big su success when not a single platform has given us this uh, platform for the success they were screaming for the success success but the root of the success was manipulated let us accept it and that is why we are all the time uh, we owe mr ash mufara thanks a lot thank you very much for such a wonderful emotional sharing really it's a family it's a family so uh, sharing means a lot from your end definitely uh, we would definitely keep on con uh, connecting to each other i believe and over to yogini ji thanks a lot thank you so much mamta and thank you nawa for your sharing and it was like uh, we have no words for the emotional way uh, we just heard you and um, hope that uh, every every corner of the world will be very peaceful and uh, anyway this year's slogan we have for gender equality and that is really very special for uh, this year and uh, we also have uh, bill must on a call and uh, welcome to india uh, bill sir and uh, yogini uh, uh, i think we want to speak something so torin you yes. are welcome if you want to speak uh just a minute yogini ji we will have our uh, cake cutting and the video uh, sharing and then we will have a two sharing we can have a cake cutting and then we can uh, ask uh, corin to speak no issue oh, sir thank you thanks a lot give me some wow wonderful cake Congratulations! Thank you, Yogini, for designing it for today. Yes. Thanks a lot for arranging this cake. Uh, I have my uh, founder. I have my founder, my younger founder, with me. So she will be doing the cake cutting. She is Mamsi, my daughter, and uh, <laughs> she is happy to do the cake cutting today. Yes, yes. I will just leave you. Thank you. I request all of uh, you to unmute yourself and just clap for this wonderful day. everyone for we completed one year today on this day we started with it so thank you so much it was fabulous me bharat she is eating she just can't resist by the flavor of the cake sitting beside me she got so eagerly the cake thank you so much <laughs> uh thank you mamta and thank you everyone for uh, joining us today and uh, mamta we will go ahead so we can just go ahead and invite yes 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 uh before that we uh, have to play the video which is uh, we have chosen it for such a wonderful day and then we will go for the sharings and one by one then at that time i would definitely call upon uh, one by one Uh, i request uh, mr kaushik uh, pandya ji uh, sir please kindly help us to uh, share this wonderful song
Okay, you are getting voice? Uh, no. Okay, one minute. Thank you so much, Kaushik. Thanks a lot, Kaushik sir. Thank you very much for playing and helping us uh, to exhibit this song. Thank you very much. Over to Yogini ji. We will uh, start sharing now. Yes, definitely. Uh, we, we would like to call upon uh, Gusminder ji, the source behind our course, now on so that we can just hear from him. Dilan ji, please welcome. Thank you, thank you, uh, Yogini and uh, all the wonderful ladies, founders of Fawn Passive. Just, I was about to drive and uh, you just called me. Anyways, uh, uh, I'm really speechless uh, with uh, all uh, you ladies, you know, uh, you shared your uh, uh, stories uh, and uh, everything uh, definitely uh, we are so proud of uh, you all uh, you are doing uh, such an amazing job every everyone and uh, we can't uh, i think imagine on passive uh, without you ladies uh, you have done uh, really from last three years four years you are doing such a wonderful and amazing uh, uh, work in on passive as a whole uh, uh, because uh, for a lady to manage everything is uh, such a difficult job i know uh, uh, like a homemaker, housewife, uh, controlling children, raising them, and uh, then coming to webinars and, uh, you know, managing so, so many things. You know, I sometimes uh, really, uh, I, I, I'm so amazed that uh, um, a, a one person, how, uh, how a one person can, uh, like, uh, do a, such, a, such a great role, uh, different type of uh, roles, you know. Uh, so salute to all of you. And uh, uh, the amount of uh, uh, dedication you have put uh, uh, into on passive, 
is a really treat to watch and uh, we love you all and uh, thank you very much i'm really speechless with all your stories and uh, what you all are doing so thank you thank you everyone on this panel and uh, who, who all are listening to them thank you thanks a lot dilan sir for such a wonderful motivation thank you very much over to yogini ji Uh, yes, we want. Uh, Corin wants to speak something. So, Corin, please welcome. Namaste again. Thank you for for giving me the chance because I wanted to thank Susie and Hawa, Sister Hawa, and everybody for their impulses. And I really today is every day we have the chance to start new. So today it's the new start. Okay. So listen, I I was also. very um surprised not surprised but i listened to suzy and i said i had a different model with my family i have not that ideal role model with my parents and as you see me here and you think oh she's shining bright and loving well i've been through a lot of ugly stuff many ugly stuff so i i i lock here the arms with hawa because I want to tell you and everybody that I stand here today and every day to support every movement where um to approach the change and improvement and help and support for women and girls and young women who are violated in any sense. I've been through that, okay? I've been through that and I've overcome it. I'm strong today because of these experiences. They were a blessing to me because I'm here, I stand here, and I survived it. Okay, and I want to tell you that I support any movement. That's my my vision to to uh, to to approach this. The the girls, mothers, women, in this world, with all these. violence in any way do you understand what i mean okay so this we are going to stop it together we are going to stop it because it's our nature to keep on the balance and i know i know this is a inner inner wisdom and an inner knowing that it's going to be okay because every single human being is longing for peace yes everyone everyone and here we are and we can think about our lives from the end looking to our lives and what do we want to be remembered for you know so it's really about our higher purpose and what are we wanting to change and be the change ourselves just like mahatma gandhi said be the change yourself you want to see in the world so we are agents of a change all of us and how and everybody who is listening now all the women and men we are going to stop that we are going to stop that if you allow us to stop and and, and together locking arms together yes today is a new day a new chance and love is the highest reality so we are here to be the change itself how i'm all with you you know and, and i i feel you and feel all others too and um, believe me we can overcome that because if not we were not here we are synchronized together to not not to fight together but to get together and be more powerful to make the change and into the freedom so yes that i wanted to share it's very important to me because it is also out of um my my own experience and uh, this is uh, to me very wonderful it's a blessing so yes here i am offering you my best version of myself and support in every any way thank you with on passive is everything is possible it's a model of all businesses isn't it so yes here we are all mothers and fathers and all together we are very 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 much stronger and we win everybody wins thank you very much namaste, namaste. again namaskar
thank you corin for such a wonderful sharing again uh, because uh, this uh, means a lot for us and that is the reason we are i uh, mean our ceo mr ash mufara has seen that uh, said it in many a times uh, correction to corruption and uh, violence is of course a way of corruption so we need to change it and we are behind changing the system changing the world uh, total paradigm shift to uh, see the world in a, another way uh, of living uh, living style and like emotions also so thank you very much uh, every word means a lot for us thank you very much for being over here uh, over to yogini ji uh, we can have a sharing uh, one or two and then proceed over uh, thank you corin uh, and next i would like to call upon uh, harpreet harpreet ji please, please welcome we can have few words from you yes after harpreet uh, can we call uh, dr bill uh, bill must because uh, two lines at least from him his side it will really motivate us thank you very much uh, over to harpreet ji thank you mamta and thank you yogini first of all congratulations to uh, to you because one year was completed in your journey uh, sorry in your dil ki baat journey yes yeah, dil ki baat journey and uh, thank you uh, namaste india and good evening uh, today's participants ladies international ladies participant uh, aloha and tihaha juli suzi vandana ji ranita ji and hawa uh, hawa bokom ji um, thank you thank you uh, so much you have to come in indian webinar and uh, really um, bahut acha lag raha hai uh, actually i'm speaking hindi because this is a indian platform and uh, so many pa participants waiting for in few words in hindi so i speak in hindi to bahut acha lag raha hai yahan mujhe sabko dekh ke sabhi international women ko dekh ke and main unke liye kuch na few lines bolna chahungi uh, bolna nahi chahungi main sune women's day बोलना चाहूंगी दिस वर्ड इज अ बेटर प्लेस बिकॉज द प्रेजेंस ऑफ वुमेन मदर सिस्टर्स डॉटर्स फ्रेंड और वाइफ नो मैटर वॉट देर रोल दे एड मीनिंग टू अवर एग्जिस्टेंस दे ब्रिंग लव टू अवर लाइफ हैप्पी वुमेन्स डे नमस्ते इंडिया आज आप सभी को वुमेन्स डे की बहुत बहुत शुभकामनाएं बहुत अच्छा आज तो लग रहा था कि वुमेन्स डे ना इतने साल हो गए हम लोगों ने देखा लेकिन आज रियलिटी वुमेन्स डे की हमें पता चल रही है कि वुमेन्स डे क्या है आज हमें वाकई बहुत गर्व हो रहा है कि हम ऑन पैसिव के मेंबर हैं और हमें इतनी प्यारी फैमिली मिली है इतना अच्छा लग रहा है इस फैमिली के साथ वुमेन्स डे सेलिब्रेट करते हुए बहुत ही बढ़िया आज का वुमेन्स डे सेलिब्रेशन रहा है सुबह से हम लोग सेलिब्रेट 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 ही कर रहे हैं बहुत बढ़िया लग रहा है और आज ममता जी और योगिनी जी को भी एक साल कंप्लीट हुआ है दिल की बात के लिए उनको भी ढेर सारी शुभकामनाएं और इसी तरह बस आप लोगों का प्यार हमारे साथ बनाए रखे और हमारा ये कारवा एक नहीं हजारों साल पीढ़ी दर पीढ़ी हम ऐसे ही बनाते रहे वुमेन्स डे इसी तरह हम लोग बनाते रहे एंड थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच आप लोगों ने मुझे इनवाइट किया और दो वर्ड्स बोलने का मुझे मौका दिया थैंक यू वंस अगेन एंड ओवर टू योगिनी थैंक यू सो मच हरप्रीत एंड नेक्स्ट वी वुड लाइक टू कॉल अपॉन uh mr bill must in case if you uh, we can see you over here if you can just be with us for a few words you're welcome to india session i think he's not here over here can you see him his uh, video is on yes we can see him but yes but he is not present over here uh, i think um, our beloved corin uh, has a session after this uh, we uh, need to wind up so <laughs> i would like to uh, request you yogini madam that we will call directly uh, neera sir uh, to have some words neera ji please welcome 
first of all thank you for inviting me for this webinar uh, yeah uh, women's day is uh, a special thing and especially uh, like like i know uh, like uh, we all started uh, the journey together you decided to do something uh, different uh, from the normal webinars and uh, uh, you wanted our help and we helped you it was just the initial help then it was all about you so fantastic job in completing one year and uh, may your show uh, always go on forever because women empowerment does not stop at any time uh, so uh, just enjoy the day and uh, uh, it was nice listening to all the women all over the world and uh, once again wish you all a very happy women's day thank you very much thank you neera sir thanks a lot thank you very much and uh, before ending the session uh, coming on to this platform after one year completion on account of completion of one year uh, and having and sharing this uh, platform along with honorable lc members uh, i would like to thank with entire on passive team champion leaders without their help it was really not possible us to complete this 46th episode of dil ki baat and thank you very much over to yogini ji uh, thank you so much mamta uh, abhi main thoda hindi mein baat karungi kyunki uh, jab se humne start kiya hai tab se hum english mein hi baat kar rahe and most of the things you have completed uh, so uh, jaate jaate sirf ek hi kahungi ki karwa uh, shuruaat to ki thi humne ek chote se uh, startup ke sath mein जो भी महिलाएं हमारे साथ में जुड़ी थी उनका तहे दिल से बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया क्योंकि पूरे एक साल में हमने मोर देन ढाई सौ महिलाओं को इस प्लेटफॉर्म में बात करने का मौका दिया है और हमें पता है कि बहुत सारा प्यार बहुत सारे ब्लेसिंग्स उनके हमारे पास है और इसी तरह से प्यार और आपके आशीर्वाद सदैव हमेशा हमारे साथ में रखिए हमारे लीडर्स और हमारे सपोर्ट लीडर्स जो भी है उनका तहे दिल से बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया वी आर सो प्राउड to be an on passive and hum garv se kehte hain ki hum on passive karte hain we are so in it to win it thank you so much good night hame garv hai hum on passive karte hain we are so in it to win it bye bye good night thank you very much hame garv hai hum on passive karte hain we are so in it to win it thank you thank you everyone bahut dhanyawad thank you everyone thank you bye bye thank you for joining thank you thank you fir milenge bilkul milte rahenge